Hello everybody, David here, Purchasing Manager at Martin Lynch & Sons, Mike Zero TPT. Now, last week, if you saw it, we did a little video about the Omni RF loop on the ground. Now, what we're gonna do this week is we're gonna show you the comparison. A lot of people on the video asked us to do the comparison, and that's what we're doing today. It's a little bit cloudy, but hopefully the rain will stay away and uh, you should hear some differences between the two antennas that I've got today. So let's get into it. Okay, so we've got ourselves a little bench here. And what we're gonna do is, first of all, I'm going to run through the equipment that I've got with us today. So if I take a seat and then we can have a little look. So the first thing that we've got today is a Yesu FT710 field, a trusty radio um, that will do us proud today um, on our, our little test with the uh, uh, RF loop on the ground. Um, so we're gonna be using this. Now, obviously we need to power this. So let me pop that over there. And what we've got, we've got the MLS 50 amp power LifePo4 battery. We've got our power poles on it and I've got a power cable with power poles that will connect and power uh, the 710. So I'm just gonna put this down here. We've then got in the handbag a switch, a simple switch that's gonna help us today to do that A-B testing between the loop on the ground and the TX RX antenna I'm going to put up which will be the JPC 12 so we need a little switch ordinarily we wouldn't uh, we'd be using a radio with either an RX or two ports uh, to be able to get the RX loop on the ground and use our TX RX antenna um, I know the 710 only has one port which is why we're doing it this way today uh, but if you was in your shack uh, what you can do is check out our box 5 our SDR switch which will allow you to have a RX antenna and a TX RX antenna with a radio that's only got one SO239 point. So that's the switch that we're gonna be using today. Pop that over there. The all important patch lead, gotta have a patch lead. Pop that over there. And then the loop on the ground transformer itself. So this is an SO239, we're gonna be using this today with 60 feet of wire. So that's the Omni RF loop. The RX TX antenna that we're gonna be comparing today with the loop on the ground is gonna be the JPC12. This is a go-to antenna. Look at the size of it, you can keep it in your car, go portable with it, even take it on holiday. I know many ops that have taken it on holiday and had a whale of time um, playing radio whilst on holiday. Um, so this is the JPC12. So you're gonna see me putting this together today. And then to connect that antenna to the 710, we've got some Potaflex. So this is the yellow Potaflex, um, exceptionally good when you are working portable because obviously if there is any members of the public around, even once you've got your ticker tape round, you can see it, you know where it is on the ground. So that's the Potaflex yellow. So we're gonna be using that to connect the TX RX antenna to the 710. So. Let's get this um, show on the road, get these bits all set up, and I'll be back with you in a bit. Okay, so we've got our Omni RF loop on the ground transformer, and uh, this is specifically to help some of the ops at home where you have a little bit of noise. And this is RX only, um, but it should allow you to hear some stations that ordinarily you wouldn't ordinarily hear or certainly improve your reception. If you want to find out a little bit more, look at our video we did last week, which was more in depth. And we had the, uh, uh, the guy that makes these, Matt from Omni RF. So don't forget to check that video out if you want a little bit more of an in-depth view of just exactly how this works. What we're going to do now, we're going to set this up and uh, get it connected. So let's do that now. So first thing we need to do, find a little spot for our box. And all we want to do is just peg this down to the ground. So we're gonna pop that in right there. Okay, so that's the transform in the ground, pegged down. What I've done off camera is I've unwound, untangled, um, because we're out of stock of these at the moment, um, 
I've used our demo one, the one that I was testing at home. So all I've got to do now is I'm going to connect it one side, just undo the wing nut, take the washer off and pop it on. I'll just do that that way. Grab your pegs that come with it. And then we're going to go out this way until I find that little piece of glued heat shrink which tells me that there's a corner coming up. There we go. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put it on the floor and we're going to peg at that point. Now, don't pull it too tight. It doesn't have to be tight. Just roughly down and then just pop the peg over. It doesn't have to be tight. And then we're going to go off at 90 degrees again. So we're going to go off this way, 90 degrees, gently feeding the wire. Now, I'm not going to show you the rest of this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this out and then I'm going to show you how we connect it all to the radio. Um, so I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, last bit. So we're going to peg him down, round about there. And then it returns us all the way back to the transformer. If it doesn't reach, can you see that doesn't reach? Don't worry, I've laid it out in the square. Just pick up your transformer, move him a little bit, and then that will give you enough slack to be able to connect it. And there we go, job's good and right. We're going to get all this connected up to the radio and the switch system now. Right, so we're back at the bench. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect the loop on the ground to our switch here. So I've managed to route uh, the coax up, which is this one here. And we're going to screw that into one terminal. It doesn't matter which terminal, because ordinarily you wouldn't be doing it like this to do some A-B test testing. Um, this is purely for our little test that we've got going here. Um, now I've got the JCP-12. Now you might have missed it. The JPC-12 can be deployed so quickly, you probably didn't even notice seeing me doing it. But if you didn't, then uh, we'll put a video up because Tony's done a, uh, a video of it um, being all put together and, and making some contacts on it. But you can probably see it there in the background. Um, we've got the JPC-12 up and um, we've got some Potaflex here, which is connected to it. And I'm going to attach that to the switch as well. And then once we've done this, we can then connect it to the radio on this end. And then that will allow us to switch in between, in and out of the RF loop and the JPC-12, so you, the viewers, can see the differences uh, between the two. So I'm gonna connect this to the radio. Now the radio's already got power. We're using our, um, our MLS 50 amp hour LifePo 4 battery there. Okay, so we're all set up now, and I've found a signal on the radio, and we're gonna switch between the antennas and um, you'll be able to see just what it's like. So here we go. As you can see, it's a little bit noisy. This is the JPC-12. That's the loop on the ground. Okay, I put you in the log, Gil, but then I wish you good luck with with all the all the contacts today. My best your for PAD and all. That's the JPC12. As you can hear, we're in a noisy environment here. Believe it or not, I've got the DNR on set to five. We're now going to switch to the loop on the ground. I'm going to apply some preamp. With 20 meter long length, Roger. Hey, you're not on the frequency. Okay, but you're the signal is dropping down to zero. You're at zero. Thank you for the two thousand. Five five six four meter length Charlie. This is five five six ten ten Charlie. Bye bye. Gilbert, 
So there you go. You can see the differences there. I was switching between the JPC12 and the loop on the ground. It is really noisy here, believe it or not, as you can see from the screen. Um, you know, it, it, it's not as um, tranquil as you would have thought on the bands um, in a place as lovely as this with the Thames behind me. Um, but there's a significant difference that you heard there when I was switching between the JPC12 and the loop on the ground. Now, I could hear him with the JPC12, but the loop on the ground made it more comfortable. And if I was wearing headphones or something like that, it would be so much more comfortable. And as you saw there, um, when I switched to the loop on the ground, I preamped it, but it only amplified the wanted frequency signal, um, which was the person's voice. So um, we'll have one more go. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna start off with the JPC12 and then you should see me click between. So I'm gonna start off with the JPC12. I'm gonna to have to search around for another signal, but we'll give that a go. So I'm gonna turn up the volume now and we're gonna have a look. Delta Kilo 7, Charlie Yankee, Delta Lima 8, Fox Gold Gepäck, auf jeden Fall. Okay, I'm finishing up there, listening to the loop on the ground. I hope that's been a good demonstration for you. And I think the next thing is, is for you to get one and try it for yourself. Um, they absolutely, um, the, the stock literally disappeared within 15, 20 minutes of um, the video airing. We've got more stock coming in this week um, and we'll have more stock coming in after that because it solves a problem that quite a lot of us hams have having a little bit of noise at home and as you saw there it can make for a pleasant experience or it can even pick out um, and you'll be able to receive stations that ordinarily you wouldn't even know they were there so I'm going to pack up now I'm going to put all this away and I'm going to go back to the shop and um, thank you for joining me today out portable the weather has been kind for us because it was raining very early this morning but I'll catch you next time um, on uh, on something for the weekend. Uh, 73 for now and take care. Bye-bye.